The beverage that can come in a bottle or a glass, but always tastes the best when it's ice cold. Beer. Beer in Canada was introduced by European settlers in the 17th century, and a number of commercial brewers thrived until prohibition in Canada. Though short-lived, very few brewers survived, and it was only in the late 20th century that new breweries opened up. The Canadian beer industry now plays an important role in Canadian identity more than ever, but what is it exactly society looks for in beer? Well, number one, it's got to have good flavor, right? It's got to be smooth, drinkable, preferably cold. I like the, the European style of beer, although I lean towards something that on the blonde side. So whether getting together with friends or after a hard day's work, beer seems to be the beverage of choice for most people. However, it doesn't just appear out of thin air. Paddockwood Brewing Company has been Saskatoon's only microbrewery since opening in 2000 and has been making a wide variety of beer which has gathered an ever-growing following in the city. We make beer with flavor. 85% uh, of the beer that's consumed in the world is what we call American Light Standard, uh, made with a lot of corn and rice. We don't make anything like that. Steve Caven started Paddock Wood in the 90s as a small mail order business, importing all kinds of different ingredients from around the world to make beer, including one of Paddock Wood's main ingredients, malts. In, in all of our beers, there's, there's that, the flavors that I'm, I'm going for, whether it's bitterness or maltiness, uh, there's typically a richness to it that I just want. It's always got some distinctive profile. So you say, yeah, this has got flavor. Bars that sell paddock wood in Saskatoon are few and far between, but in the bars that do carry it, the brewery has seemed to have success. The, the market trend now is more of a, what they call a craft brew, so brews that are done in small batches. Paddock wood has taken a, a great deal of effort to define their beers in a certain way. Arno Oldak works at the Yard and Flagon on Broadway Avenue in Saskatoon and has worked with paddock wood to really grow their business. We get a lot of American tourists that come in here, and they'll ask, you know, what's a local brew? And we'll always say, well, we've got the Paddockwood, which are very, very flavorful, small craft beers. With success and support across Saskatoon, the only question that remains to be answered with Paddockwood is what's next for Steve and his creation? I want to be the, the microbrewery for Canada, a craft beer right across Canada. But I like to make this kind of craft beer available to everyone that wants it. Beers from a macrobrewery are tasty, yes, but they don't seem to have the same love and affection put into them as a beer from a microbrewery like Paddock Wood. For WABC News, I'm Mitchell Rishko. Cheers.